What beer are you going to try next? I know what you're going to try. Thanks for stopping by. It's beer time with the beer man. It's also sour day. As you can see, I've been picking my days and uh, figuring it out as I go. This is, uh, I believe, the fourth day. I have three more days to choose, and I'm doing it randomly as I go into the bottle shops. I'm figuring it out. So, today is sour day. And what I have for you is Petrus, as you saw with the intro. It's an aged red. It's an 8.5% um, sweet and sour uh, cherry fruit beer, if you want to call it that. Um, it's brewed by Bru uh, 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 Rouge de Brubandere in Belgium. Uh, let's go ahead and crack this open. Let me tell you, let me show you it first, actually. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. See, see, see. See, 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 see. All right. Nice little lovely glass I got at Seaside Wine and Beer House. Those guys are great. Those guys are great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a very lovely looking beer. It poured a brownish, very pinked red. It has somewhat of a pink foam on it, kind of like my delirium last night. Uh, it is considered a sour, so I have it on here as a sour. It's uh, it's also a uh, it's a double brown, so with cherries. Um, so we'll get into that though. Let's 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 go ahead and smell. Oh boy. Man, this smells a lot like the delirium red that I smelled last night. It's a different sweetness, though, a different tone to the cherries. More, um, very sweet, but has a tart, kind of crisp edge. Wow, very strong smelling. Um, maybe a bit of alcoholic-like presence there. There is some maltiness. I do get a whiff of malt. I get the sour, the tangy, the sweet, the fruit. cocktail like, kind of like a super cherry almost black cherries I don't know maybe not black cherries again let's I said that last night it's, I'm getting that black cherry note though or the red cherries the cherries that uh, you'd get in a jar when you put it on a, on a Sunday that's what I'm smelling man those red sweet cherries and syrup that you put on Sundays or banana splits. Yeah. All right, let's taste. Oh my God. Not very carbonated. Tastes like cherry soda without the carbonation. Sweet, almost syrup-like. Definitely has an astringent character to it. The tartness. But not terrible. It's not super off-putting or anything. Um, alcoholic, like presence, is, uh, is there. Um, but but not 
not terrible. Um, oh boy. There's not too many off-putting things in this beer. Like, it's it's a very elegant beer. It's a very desserty beer. Something you can easily drink with, like, I don't know, some kind of chocolate cake or, or even brownies or something chocolatey or something uh, even with your coffee, uh, like a coffee cake maybe might even go good with this. Um... Yeah, there's no, I don't get any like phenols or clove-like character or anything like that. Um, there's no um, diacetyl or like butterscotchy weirdness. It's it's mainly a fruit beer. It's mainly fruity, mainly sweet, and then you get the sour tartness. Um, very, you know maybe one or two drinks you know you're not going to be downing these like you would some uh you know like a lighter more maltier beer um man let's it kind of tastes like cough syrup I i'm not trying to make it sound bad but it kind of it has a cough syrupiness to it or like one of those um, lozenges, um, those cough, cough drop lozenges by uh, those red ones that are kind of oval shaped or whatever. <laughs> but but I like this. That's the thing. Like it's it's an interesting beverage. It's an interesting beer. I, I, I'm really, I'm really, um, I mean, I wouldn't sessionably drink this at all. No. No, no. But I would easily drink this with maybe one of them, like you would wine or something like that. Um, it's got a blend of 15% Petrus Aged Pale, Pure Fooder Bear, aged for two years in egg fo oak fooders. And it's got 85%, the other part of it is 85% double brown or double brune with cherries. So you're getting that that um, kind of uh, rich, kind of uh, roasty, kind of maybe a, it's actually uh, the cherry, the fruitiness, it overrides a lot of the malt. So you're not getting that. But color wise, you're getting that darker color, the brown color. And, this that you're getting real heavy with cherries though hardcore cherries I'd like to really know what kind of cherries they actually use because it really tastes like the ones in that jar I was talking about um, maybe those with black bear, black cherries or something together mixed or something I don't know um, but they said on their label that it's for fruit beer lovers but with ideal sweet sour balance full full body fruity refreshing sour at the same time so it's it's a lot like the delirium delirium red that I had last night. Um, I think this is very similar to that. This is more cough syrupy tasting, um, but I'm not saying that to put it down. I'm saying it still tastes very good, but it's got more of a, a, a let's let's not say cough syrup because that sounds terrible. Let's just say like more of a syrupy, more of a more of a sweet, um, not the texture of syrup, but more of a, a, a more of a a, a, mole, a a mouth. The mouth feels more full, and and uh, just feels. I guess that's probably what it is. Just the fact that the mouth feels so full on this one. Um, the other one was a little more drier. This does dry off, but it goes down further. It's 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 different. That tangy, and it does have a dryness actually. It's a tangy dryness, um, but it, it kind of, I don't know, it kind of has the same timing as the, uh, as the delirium. They're, they're very similar actually. They're very, very, very similar. Uh, you get this one, you get the delirium, try them, you'll, 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 you'll kind of see what I'm saying. Um, so it's hard to kind of determine what's what. I really like this. This is a good beer, you know, and I 
I would have to say that I'm gonna have to give it a uh, <clears throat> a nine. <laughs> but I want you to know that it's a very good beer to the beer company and to anyone that loves this beer. I never had anything bad to say about it. I liked the delirium better yesterday. It was a little drier on the finish. Um, but this was definitely a very tasty and very interesting beer to try. I definitely enjoyed it and would definitely <laughs> buy it again. I would love to try a drier finished beer of this or something else that you might have. Um, very good beer. Very good beer. All right, you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Comment and let me know what you think. Subscribe, hit that bell for more. You want to know what's up? You know what I'm doing. You, you got to know when I'm putting up new videos every night. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you guys have a good day, good night, wherever you are from in this world. All right, peace. Cheers. I'm out.